Okay, I'm going to teach you some of the snakehead shots. There are some things that we do that are a little bit different for snakehead. They are, in my opinion, it's the hardest shot fishing you're going to get, the hardest sight fishing, because these are a lung fish, they come up and take air. You've got one, sometimes two seconds maximum to put the fly very accurately in front of them, and that's very hard. Um, and mostly it's a pick up and lay down shot with a few variations and it's something you have to practice because the first time people come here to fish with me uh, first time they usually catch nothing and it becomes a casting lesson the first thing I'm going to do here is teach you the casts and these are things you're going to have to practice for a couple of months and the great thing about this is if you learn it it's going to enhance the rest of your fishing saltwater fly fishing shots they become easy this is a jungle environment it's very warm here it's 35 degrees or 33 degrees right now it can get up to 40 the lines dry out it's a saltwater tropical line of course this is a very important product for me this is a this is something we call is a product called shoot we actually sell this in sexy loops um i've actually got some in this bottle but no label and then it's a blend of silicones and I just put a few drops on there, a few drops on there, uh, between every move really, because it keeps the line super slick and it makes a difference, it makes a huge difference, two or three meters difference. And then I just put it on there and as, as I pull it out, it's going to go on the rings and it's going to cover all the rest of the line. Uh, three meter, nine or a ten foot leader. Okay, tape it and I've got a popper on the end and you must practice with a popper on the end. This line here is Rio's technical tarpon line. It is a, this particular one is a 60 foot head, and you'll see why I like it. I like the long belly lines a little bit later. There are two or three shots, and I start here. Standard for me is as I'm moving around, I've got two meters of line outside the rod tip. I don't put the line, the, there is a, as you'll know, there's a, there's a standard cast where you're meant to start here saltwater, call it a saltwater quick cast where you have this hand, this fly in your hand and you make a swing into the back cast and then you do a couple of casts. You have not got the time for that here, simple. You, there is not the time for that. Often you have one second to make this shot. It is extremely difficult. So we start off with two meters of fly line outside the tip. This allows me to fish six meters from, from my feet actually. I've got two meters of line I've got a three meter leader, I've got one meter reach, I can put the fly six meters away. Sometimes the fly, the fish, will, lay, will arrive or rise in between this. Sometimes it just happens, the fish is here and it's coming this way. This is when you make your reach cast. Fish comes up here, you're going to get very accurately at putting the fly down in front of its nose and you want a straight line. It's no good sort of collapsing the cast to put the fly there because how are you going to pull it? So you fish comes down here, bang it there. And the nice thing about that is when you do move the flight, you're not bringing it directly towards the boat. And you've got to get good at putting it both sides. Do what I do, cast them with leaves, pick targets, put targets around you, and you can get extremely good at this. And you have to, you want to you can put this, if I had a saucer and I was floating that out there, I could put that on the saucer, no problems every time. But we have to cast a little bit further. Typically, anything up to maybe 16 meters is, is, a, is a fair shot. After that, we just can't get there quickly enough with, with, with this particular cast. So, two meters of line outside the rod tip. This is the cast. I'm going to now slip line on the lift. I've now got four meters of line outside the rod tip. Now, I've invented something today, and you may have noticed it. I have wrapped duct tape around my hand. This is, a, this is a new invention that I've done today. Let me just get you out of the sun so you can see that. I invented this today. I don't think anybody's ever done this before. Duct tape on the hand. And the reason for that... The reason for that... Hang on a second. The reason for that is because I'm going to shoot line on this back cast. And I want to shoot it through my hand so that I can catch it. So this makes it super slick. So I start here with two meters of line, slip, just catch it, bang. Now it's slipping between this V, between my fingers here, and it's shooting along this... We'll have to think of a funky name for it. Arden's duct 
tape hand, two meters of line, here, make the slip, touch, just touch it, and immediately let go. And you see how the lion there was wanting to shoot back between, the, between my V here. So now I've got maybe one, two, three, four, six, six, seven meters here of line outside the rod tip. With that seven meters, I can shoot the rest, and I can shoot to about 22 meters, but 16, 17 is realistic, okay? So I'll show you that once again. Two meters of line. Rod tip touching the wood. I'm now going to slip line on the left, okay? Touch it. Make the back cast. It shoots between this hand here. Catch it in the air and come forward with the haul. So we're going to go lift, slip, bang, bang. Okay. Good shot. That's 17, 18 meters here. Maybe a bit more. Once again, show you another one. I'll show you another angle so you can see it. So I'm here, two meters of line. Fish rises over there. Bang, bang. Okay? That's our shot. Got to get really good at that. There's one other thing that's important now. <clears throat> because you have to not just put the you're not just trying to shoot the line as far as possible, we are actually trying to position the fly. We lift, shoot catch it, bang, and as it's about to turn over, we just catch it. As it's past it, as it's coming close to the fish, as we're aiming at our target, we just check the shoot. Lift, bang, bang, check the shoot. Puts it in the right place. Okay? <laughs> you didn't see that, that was a perfect cut. Now, it's very important that you have a vertical rod with this cast. If you have, a, if you count the rod off the side, and you make this cast with this sort of speed, and you and you make the check shoot, it's got lines going to kick into a curve. Now there may be some uses on that. Um, there certainly there certainly are. But for most of the casting that we're doing, we want a perfectly straight line. So you need to keep this vertical rod, this 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 stroke vertically, just as we do when we're throwing at accuracy at targets. So we have. The, the, the reach cast with two meters of fly line. We have the shooting slip lift pick up and lay down shot with the check haul at the end of it. Next thing you have to practice is changes of angle. So we're here, two meters of line here, we're waiting here, fish rises here. We've got to get good at coming around the body and accurately putting the fly down. This is called it's either an aerialized single spay or it's a change of direction Belgian cast. It's what we used to call um, the switch cast until that got renamed. You can also shoot line as you come round, very important, and you've got to be able to do it the other way. And a very simple way of casting the other way is here. There's our target. We put a target directly above us. We cast up to that target in the air, and then we come down to our target on the forward cast. Please, please, please remember there is always a target up behind you and that back cast target accurately lays out you know, in a straight line to your forward cast. It's always got to be in the back of your head. Back cast target. There is one more cast, okay? One shot where I need a long head and that's if I've got a, a baby's coming up at a distance at maybe 20 meters and if that happens I can strip line off and what you can actually do especially with this, because I've got this long head, is I can hover the fly, and then I watch, as the babies are up, it's a long distance away, and then I see the adult come up, and then I can deliver the fly to the adult. So that's your fourth cast, which is to learn, and that's hovering the fly, and that's why I have this long head. Everybody says, oh, you know, quick shots, you need a short head. Well, that's, that's great, but I don't. I, I, need this, I need this long head for this, because I need to be able to accurately place that fly, just drop it down in front of the fish on a long carry. So anyway, this is a cast. Get good at carrying, maybe 60 feet here, looking for the fish coming up. There he is, bang, put it down. So these are our casts. It's a slip lift, pick up and lay down. You've got the reach mends, the reach casts. Um, you've got the 60 foot carry, then laying it down. And then you have these aerialized spay casts, if you like with these changes of angle. This, if you, this is why 
this is one of the reasons I love coming here. I love the fish, but I also love the casting. The casting really has to, it really lifts your level. If you can do it here, you can do it anywhere. You know, this is infinitely harder than some of the saltwater shots that you get on the flats because you get to see the fish coming along usually from quite a distance. Here, you don't know when they're coming up and you get one second or two seconds to put the fly on its nose just in front of a straight line. It's mind-blowing. So anyway, I, if you're coming here, please, please, please practice these. And practice these over water. Take a, get a popper, cut the hook off, get your 10 weight or your 8 weight line and your rod and you put targets out there and you throw at the targets. First of all, first of all, just practice this on this pick up and lay down. You start with your two meters, you slip it, and then just cast it back, and then see how much line you've got there. Measure it. You know, what is that? That's five, six meters. Okay, well, I need more than that. So I'm gonna lift, shoot, shoot. how much is that? Okay, that's a bit better. And so you've gotta work on that. That's your first thing. Must, must, must get very good at that. And then come up, lift, shoot it back, and then whack. This is your, and then check it. So that's, uh, so if you can do that, come fishing with me. Right, fuck it, let's go fishing. Hey look, it's even reusable. Come on Ashley, what should we call this? Duct tape glove. So if you come up with a name for us, and I'll send you this, you can have one for free. You come up with a cool name, best name gets a free one.